and feasting. <laughs> Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Rishavanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchakalpa Trubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Vevacha Patitana
someone came to me and said, I've heard that all the sannyasis and all the leaders exemplify different aspects and of the personality of the Krishna of different aspects of life. And he was saying how Sachinanda and Maharaj is like a rose and uh, he said it was really neat. You're like a businessman. <laughs> so ordinarily uh, that in a spiritual assembly, although I'm sure you didn't mean it, but in that way, but it, ordinarily with an ordinary person who wasn't proactive, um, that would probably be a kind of insulting comment. <laughs> Wouldn't be very flattering. But I didn't take it that way because I'm really, really happy to be able to be anything for Krishna. Um, this is my... People ask me, what are these? And I tell them, this is my dog collar. I, I just want to be the dog of my spiritual master. And if I can be a businessman for him, that's also okay. Prabhupada did want to... He said, if you go to some yogis in India and you offer them some money or something, they will go like this. You know, I'm not interested. <laughs> he said, but if you put money in front of me, I will go like this. <laughs> he said, because we have so many good programs to spread Krishna consciousness. So, what I would like to leave you all with is try to be something for Krishna. Anything, it doesn't matter. Um, even the most insignificant servant, you know the story of Hanuman, and Lord Ramchandra, Lord, Chang, Lord Ramchandra wanted to build a bridge across the ocean to Lanka to fight with Ravana. So he ordered all the monkeys headed by Hanumanji to build the bridge. So Hanuman was very strong, so he was lifting big, huge boulders, mountains practically, and throwing them into the ocean. So while he was doing that, there was a little <laughs> there was a little squirrel uh, who was pushing a little ball of dirt, a little tiny rock, into the ocean. And he was getting in the way of Hanuman, so Hanuman got a little upset. He said, get out of my way. And Lord Ram saw that, and he corrected Hanuman. He said, no, that small creature is doing to his capacity, so he is also glorious. So each and every one of us, whether we live in the ashram, or we live outside the ashram, whether we're a brahmachari or a brahmacharini, or a grihasta, or a vanaprasta, or a sannyasi, or even something beyond that. Um, whatever you are for Krishna, that's glorious. And uh, please go on in your lives serving Krishna. And Srila Prabhupada's order to you was chant Hare Krishna, have no worries, be happy. 
So people say, oh, Prabhupada's orders to chant Hare Krishna. But that's not complete. His order was also to have no worries. He ordered you not to have any worries. Because Krishna's your supreme protector and your supreme friend and your supreme lover and your supreme master and guide. And he's everything. And uh, if you have faith in him, sometimes in India we tell people that we know everything about God. We know his color, we know his size, we even have his telephone number. And then, you know, we're quiet. And then we say, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. If you call that number, Krishna will answer. So, please go on the way you're doing. Uh, you're all making nice progress. You're all very wonderful people to be here, and I feel very humbled by your association. Um, you're all very young, uh, and you could be doing so many other things with your lives, which many of your peers are doing, but you've given your time for this, and please, please continue and accept our assurance that this will bring you real happiness both now and in the future and share it with others something worth following is worth sharing with others so give it away and your own quantity of krishna consciousness will increase thank you very much Hare krishna da čujete kako je u stvari došla do toga da smo sad svi ovdje u takvoj divnoj spiritualnoj atmosferi sa čistim baktama i kako je došla do toga da smo se sakupili. Prošle godine, kad sam počela onako sa službom na Mahate, mi je moj duhovni učitelj Šile Sačinanda na Maharaj rekao zašto ne bi imali ko jedno zajednički dan svi na Mahati i Slovenije u Ljubljanskom centru. Pošto je bilo to već prema kraju ljeta, onda nismo to nekako izveli, ali ta ideja je još uvijek ostala. I onda ove godine mi je opet rekao, pa zašto ne napravite neki kamp u Franciji, tamo bakte se sakupe iz Švicarske, iz Njemačke, ima jako divno to organizirano, svake godine na ljeto se za jednu sedmicu okupe i tako da ojačaju u duhovnom životu i dobiju snage za napred. Onda sam rekao da zato bi moglo, ja predložim Bartama u templu i svi se se složi. And say a few words. So I'd like to have at least half a dozen of you, three ladies and three men, come up and if anybody feels strongly, Otherwise, I'm going to pick you out, so I don't believe in volunteer system, so. <laughs> so is there anybody who'd like to say something about the realizations they've had and what this camp has meant to them and what they'll do when they go home? Any of our congregation, any of the seniors in the back or the babies in the front here? Or... <laughs> Anybody like to say anything? Okay, come, come, come. Or stand up. Can you speak loudly or you can speak into the mic as you like? Uh, and the first day at Mangalarati, I was uh, shocked. What am I doing here? I was so old. Well, today I chanted 20 uh, rounds. Hurry, <laughs> Thank you. 
he had seen the devotees on Hari Nam, and he was his parents were out on the town, and, and he was with them, this Bhakta Vishwaita four-year-old boy, and he had seen the Hari Nam party, and he got very attracted to it. So he cried and screamed, and he forced his parents to come to the temple in Berkeley. So they got eventually attracted, and they became devotees. So he was also very much into devotional service. I mean, right from the very beginning of his life, it was like taking up from a previous lifetime. So anyway, they eventually came to Los Angeles, where Prabhupada was, and this little boy developed a little kind of friendship with Prabhupada. In the morning, Prabhupada used to come to the temple, and all the devotees would give Prabhupada a flower, and Prabhupada would give them back a flower as he walked towards the temple, the devotees would line up. And Bhakti Vishwaraita was there, and Prabhupada would always stop and say a few you know, nice things to him, encourage four-year-old boy. So anyway, this one day, this Bhakti Vishwaraita came up to Prabhupada's quarters, and he had on his dhoti and kurta, and, you know, he offered his obeisances to Prabhupada, and so Prabhupada said, you know, do you want anything? We're having a meeting. Bhakti Vishwaraita said no, so Prabhupada said, you go and wait in the other room. So the little boy went into the other room, and uh, Prabhupada had some Jagannath deities there, Jagannath Baladeva and Subhadra deities. So the boy sat down, you know, in, in lotus posture with his leg up like this, and he, you know, he sat in front of the deities, and he was just meditating on the deities. And uh, so the meeting was going on, and they kind of forgot about Bhakta Vishwaraita. But he was just sitting there very patiently, very calmly, in front of the deities, a little four-year-old boy. But he kept looking over at Prabhupada and then looking back at the deities. So after some time, Prabhupada uh, said, um, uh, Bhakta Vishwaraita, do you want to go now? And he said, yes, Prabhupada. So Prabhupada said, okay, you can go. And then he turned to Karandar and he said, just see, this is the success of our movement, that a four-year-old boy has been given an order by his spiritual master, and even he doesn't want to follow, I mean, he, it, it's a little awkward for him, but just because the spiritual master has asked him, therefore he's doing it. This is the success of our movement. So the real success of the Krishna Consciousness Movement is when we'll be able to make our children Krishna conscious because they'll be the future leaders of the world, the flowers that will bloom and lead the world out of darkness. So it's, it's very wonderful that all of you have brought, or some of you have brought your children with you and you're exposing them to Krishna Consciousness. And I think it's, it's really, really important that we put our money and our energy and our intelligence into educating our children. Hare Krishna.